But people put so much confidence in other people that don't know God. Advising them and they don't know God. Huh? Blind lead the blind. And they both surely fall in the ditch. You got to have somebody that can see. The Lord said, I sat before, look, I personally, you. Huh? Life and death. People choose that. Somebody like, well, no, I don't choose that. The church is built buildings this morning. All over the globe is full of people. Called church. And they say they're serving God. But when people leave that building, what kind of godly decisions are they making? What sort of ungodly decisions are they making? You cannot serve God and sin too. If you could, he wouldn't have said this. <laughs> if evil is okay, then God wouldn't have said this. He said, but it's two things before you. Huh? Life and death. Right? Yeah. What do you mean life and death? To obey God and live forever? To disobey God and die forever? He's not talking about casket dead here. He's not talking about physically living right now. He's talking about future. Future life. Eternal life. Your decision that you make will affect your eternal life. Because the decision everyone should make is you must be born again. Amen. Critical. You must be born again. Life. Obey God. Never demons comes to mind again. Here you had, listen, religion won't save you. Denomination won't save you. Because here we have a man that had to make a choice in the New Testament. Y'all are saying that. Here we have a powerful man. Here we have one in authority. A ruler, teacher, master of the law, the Torah, a master of it. But yet, when he came to Jesus, Jesus put a decision before him. Lord have mercy. Y'all better get with me. I was on the couch. Stay with me. Begin to read St. John chapter 3. Life and death has been placed in front of everybody. You cannot say, I would have, should have, or could have, if it wasn't for this one or that one. Look in the mirror and say, you are causing me to be lost. By the decisions you make. Read. St. John chapter 3 and verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Here you had a man in one of the religions of Jesus' day. Pharisee, Sadducee, scribe. There was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus. Look at his resume, if you please. Ruler of the Jews. A ruler. The same came to Spiritual Jesus. ruler. Huh? Read. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him. What? Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. We have been observing you, Jesus. For no man can and we know something about you. What do you know? We know that. You are a teacher. But you came from God. Listen at this name. <laughs> we know that thou 
all that teaches Jesus that come from God. Jesus, you notice, that silent. And the reason they know this because he said, because in observing you, for no man can do what thou do. Nobody can do this except what? God be with them. They couldn't do it, but God won't with them. They knew that. Isn't that something to admit? Huh? We know that, listen, out of the three religions we are in, we can't do what you are doing. You see the Bible? Y'all believe the Bible? Amen. Nobody can do this, Jesus, because God got to be with you. The lame walking, the blind seeing, dead folks walking out of tombs. But um, the lepers are being cleansed. Take God to do this. Read on. Verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Belly, belly, I say unto thee, Jesus ignored or bypassed all what he said. And said, Nicodemus, verily, verily, I say unto thee, except what? A man be born again? Decision. You're religious, but you ain't saved. I say, except a man be born again, he what? Cannot see the kingdom of God. Cannot. Cannot see the kingdom of God. That's the question that's being posed on this broadcast to all of you that watch this broadcast, all of you that are wrapped up and tied up in denominations of men, religion, that's the question to you. That's the decision you must make. Your religion cannot do what Jesus told it to do because it won't make the right decision. And the decision is, do I hold on to this that's not taking me any place? Or do I make a decision to repent and turn from my wicked ways? Be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of my sins and be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's a tough decision because religion and denomination don't believe in it have taught you not to believe in it, and you find yourself going around in circles. But life is set before you. The right choice set before you. Thank you, Jesus. So when people die, they choose death. People live, they choose life. Because the Bible said, I said before you, death for life and death. Look, blessings and cursings. I'm not talking about money. When people see blessings in the Bible. So many hypocrite preachers, all they think about is Benjamins. He wasn't talking about that blessing. It's spiritual blessing first. And spiritual cursings. Huh? It's a blessing to be in the will of God. It's a blessing to be saved and delivered. Amen. It's a blessing to know God is with you. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing to know you on your way to heaven. Yeah. It's a blessing to be bound. <coughs> huh? It's a blessing to be depressed. It's depressing and not sure of God with you or not. That's a cursing. 